Welcome to BBC School News Report. My name is Lily. My name is Katie. And my name is Maddie. And, and we, we are BBC, BBC School, School News Reporters. We will be reporting on two different topics, local and national news. I will be discussing slavery in Staffordshire. And we will be talking about the Parliament outbreak over the Russian spy poisoning. Let's start with slavery in Staffordshire. Five men aged between 26 and 50 have been hired as slaves and paid less than £2 an hour and unaware of the minimum wage of £7. They worked in food processing factory and worked 12-hour shifts daily. The men are from Romania and imported from Eastern Europe to Staffordshire. The identity of the victims is unknown to this point, but police have safeguarded all of the men. They lived in Ashwin Road, Handsworth, with their gang master in a cramped room where they slept on a shared mattress. Police described the moon as squalid conditions. The gang master that employed the men has been identified as Mihai Varga, aged 39. Varga was arrested in September 2017 and pleaded not guilty, but then changed plea in Birmingham Crown Court to guilty. He was charged with over 20 modern slavery offences to where he was later sentenced to five years in jail on Wednesday the 14th of February 2018. Thank you for that report, Katie. Now we have the national news. Sergei Shripal, a retired Russian spy, was found slumped on a park bench in his hometown of Salisbury. Earlier this week, he was injected with a Russian-made nerve agent. Sergei was celebrating the arrival of his daughter from Russia when the attack took place. He was eating in the restaurant Zizi when he was injected with the nerve agent. All people dining in the restaurant that day were advised to wash all belongings they took with them, even though police say they are unlikely to be affected. The police officer, Nick Bailey, the one who, atten the one who, the one who attended to Sir Sergei and his daughter, has also fallen critically ill. He remains ill but is able to communicate with his family. However, Sergei is in, a, is in critical but stable condition. The Prime Minister, Theresa May, gave the midnight deadline for Russia to confess, which they failed to meet. UK have a promise from the US to join us against Russia in this outrage, but people don't trust Donald Trump in, in his promise. Whose side is he really on? Mrs May has expelled 23 Russian diplomat, diplomat, diplomats and told Russia they will not be letting the royal family attend the FIFA World Cup later this year. Nobody knows why exactly this happened and what the outcome was, but will there be more to this case? Altogether, that was an interesting story. Thank, Thank you for watching our BBC School News Report.